looking at uh, dividing polynomials and, and monomials. So here we have a polynomial over a monomial. We want to know what's the simplified form. So how do we handle this? Well, this goes back, let's just think about um, other fractions, right? Let's say you have, I don't know, uh, 8 tenths, right? And then you took 5 tenths away. What would that really be? Well, that would be 3 tenths, right? But what's happening here is that what you're doing is you're saying, well, 8 minus 5, we're doing that operation in terms of tenths. So really here, 8 minus 5 or 10, that still equals 3 tenths. That's the same thing as writing it like 8 over 10 minus 5 over 10. And that's an important way of looking at it, right? So if you see this right here, you can really think of it as 8x to the 6th power over 2x squared minus 6x to the 3rd power over still 2x squared. Because we're subtracting these two, these two terms in terms of 2x squared, in relation to 2x squared. It's exactly the same thing here. So that this allows us to simplify. If you remember um, dividing by uh, variables with, with different exponents, same variables, different exponents, we're just going to subtract these two exponents. And then we can also just divide these two coefficients. Same thing here. So what's going to end up happening is 8 divided by 2 is 4. 8 to the 6th over 8 to the 2nd is we subtract those two exponents. We get 8 to the 4, <laughs> 4 times x to the 4th power, right? 6 minus 2 is 4 minus, well, here 6 divided by 2 is 3. And x to the 3rd over x to the 2nd is just x, right? 3 minus 2 is 1. So we could write x to the 1st power, but we'll leave it as x. And here I get answer b. Let's look at some more examples. And remember, hold on to this idea right here. That really, when you have 8 minus 5 over 10, you can think of it as 8 over 10 minus 5 over 10. And that's going to carry us through. Okay, what is 3m to the third plus 6m squared divided by 3m? Same problem, but they're not writing it out for us. So I'm going to write it out. 3m to the third power plus 6m squared over divided by, right, 3m. Well, that equals 3m to the third power over 3m plus 6m squared over 3m. And now we can just simplify. 3 divided by 3 is 1. m to the third over m is m to the second. 6 over 3, here we're adding 2, and then just 1m. So now we have this as our answer. They're just writing m squared, which is the same thing as times 1. Remember, multiplying by 1 does not change the value. Okay, it looks, it looks even nastier, this problem, but the same principle applies. We have 3x to the 6th over our denominator, over 3x squared, plus 9x to the 4th over 3x squared, minus 6x squared over 3x squared still. Right, so that denominator is over each part in the numerator. So now 3 divided by 3 is 1. So we don't even need to think about that. We have x to the 6th over x to the 2nd. That's x to the 6 minus 2, which is 4. Plus, we're adding 3, right? 9 divided by 3 is 3 times x to the 2nd. Minus 6 divided by 3 is 2. And x squared divided by itself is just 1. So here's our answer. And where do I see that? Okay, right here, choice A. Similar problem right here. This, each of the parts on the numerator will be divided by the denominator. So we get 4x to the third over 2x plus 8x squared over 2x minus 10x over 2x. And then we just divide the parts. 4 divided by 2 is 2 x to the third divided by x is x squared. And then we add. 8 divided by 2 is 4. x squared divided by x is just x. And then minus. Well, 10 divided by 2 is 5. x divided by x is just 1. So here's our answer. It's choice A. OK, which expression is an equivalent form of this? 2x to the third, 2x to the third, 
plus 4x squared over 2x squared. So they want to, to simplify. So each, each term in the numerator is over the denominator. So I, I get 2 divided by 2 is 1. x to the third divided by x squared is just x plus, well, that's just 2, right? Because x, divided, x squared divided by itself is 1, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I have my answer is choice F. And all right, that's it for this video. One other thing to think about. Throughout the video, and I've covered this in others, but if you see something like this, the reason this is x to the first power, or just x, relates to the fact that x to the third is x times x times x, and x squared is just x times x. So really, I mean, we're just saying x divided by x is 1, x divided by x is 1, and just one little x is left over. So we subtract these exponents because we're subtracting out the pairs that match, and that tells us the answer. All right, hope that helped.